everyday base makeup, I've been using the It Cosmetics Your Skin But Better CC Plus Natural Matte in the shade Light. And then for concealer, I'm using the Tower 28 Serum Concealer. I love this stuff. And then for bronzer, I've been using the Rare Beauty what is this even called? I guess just bronzer stick in the shade Happy Soul. This is almost gone. So I think next I wanna try like the Pixie um, bronzer stick because I feel like it's more of like a buildable sheer coverage and it's like a balm. So I really wanna try that next. That would be my next purchase. But yeah, I basically that's all I have on my face right now. Yeah, I was like I should pick up my camera and start filming. So welcome. At this point, no idea what this vlog is going to entail. I probably should have maybe thought about that a little bit more, but it's a long weekend here in Canada. It's Victoria Day weekend here, but we always refer to it as May 2-4. <laughs> so it's May 2-4. It's currently what is today? Today Saturday. I'm like so lost. Thursday night, I went to a concert. I went and saw um, Megan Patrick, Dylan Scott, and Cole Swindell. It was so fun. I went with a couple girls from work and we had a blast. I got home late Thursday night. Yesterday, I just kind of relaxed and had a me day because the rest of my weekend is very busy. Today, we're going out on the boat. I'm gonna head over to our boat and clean it before we go out this morning. I'm probably gonna go out with a couple friends for the afternoon. Later this evening, we have just another um, get together with like our families and then we have like a family friend who does like a big firework show tonight, so that's the plan. Yeah, and I'm just getting ready. super dirty in here because we haven't really done like a good clean since we brought the boat so I'm kind of excited for this. to do before I go to work today um, and then at some point I want to sit down and have a little chit chat so let's get into it anxiety. I get up pretty early in the mornings during the week. I'm kind of a morning person. Even on weekends, like, we don't really sleep in that much. I just find that I'm, like, most productive in the morning, especially after a full work day. So I like to take some time, like, for myself to either read or, like, sit down and watch a YouTube video when I first get up, enjoy my coffee, and then do, like, the tidy up around the house. It just feels better coming home to, like, a tidy house after work. And I know that with my job, I'm exhausted by the end of the day. I'm on all day talking to people. So 
when I get home at the end of the workday, I want to like have dinner, tidy up after dinner, not have like a ton of stuff to think about or a ton of stuff to do. So honestly, like a week in my life is pretty boring because I'm just doing like house tasks and going to work. That's it. But I feel like I'm getting into like a really good routine with my mornings and accepting and allowing that not every morning is going to be the same. There are many different tasks that I want to get done in the mornings, like vacuum the house and empty and load the dishwasher, wash the dishes from the night before. I've been following the Whitney Simmons Alive app for, honestly, I've, I've been following it pretty consistently since January, give and take a few breaks here and there. So I basically, I want to make a list of like all the tasks that I like to get done during my mornings and I'm kind of like planning those out a little differently and in my mind I've just I've had to make it okay to only get certain things done every single day. I know on the mornings where I'm doing one of my live app workouts I'm probably not gonna have enough time to also do the dishes and like clean the kitchen as much as I would want to. That used to stress me out but now I'm like okay I either do it the night before knowing that I'm gonna do my workout in the morning or if I just don't have the energy at night to do it, I'm just like, okay, fine. It's something I have to deal with after work. And it just is what it is. I'm not like beating myself up over that anymore. I am like my own worst critic. I'm so hard on myself. So just that small shift in my mindset has made a huge difference. And it's allowed me to like stay consistent with my workout program. Cause that was like the first thing to go out the door. I'm like, no, I need my husband tidy. That's my, my workout is going out the window but I do know that that workout is also it's equally important to me like I want to be somebody who enjoys movement and strengthening my body and I do feel a lot stronger than I did having this like fresh perspective and this mindset switch is also allowing me to like build confidence in myself it's like helping me learn to trust myself, which is something I really need to do. But yeah, please let me know. If you're a 95 girly like me, um, and you struggle with that, like you struggle with feelings of anxiety, or you struggle with like being a morning person, or just being really hard on yourself, let me know. I can relate, you're not alone. I am there with you, and I don't know. I feel like I am so down to just hold each other accountable and work on these like tiny little habits together, so hoping that by documenting this, it's gonna help keep myself more accountable. I'm gonna take my Kindle outside, I think, and read my book for a little bit. I have not been making very good progress on this yet. I just like, I can't focus. So I don't know, I'm gonna try and just spend some time reading and not worry about everything else. I have Fridays off from work. I'm like, I'm gonna spend all day reading my book. I just wanna read all day long. And then I just, there's so much that needs to be done, I feel like. I've mentioned in the previous videos that I joined Keelan B's book club, and this is the June book of the month. It's The Serpent and The Wings of Night. It's the Nightborn Do It book one by Carissa Broadbent. Given that it's like the middle of June now, I feel like I should be a little bit further into this book. So I'm just gonna go head outside and read for the next little bit. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up down below and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.